Ooh, guess what we're doing? We're doing control, mage. Controller! Controlu, no, controller. As an homage, one of the greatest moments in the history of Brood War, when there's an extraordinary plague cast on a ball of Nada's bio units. And the commentators, commentators shout, Plague up, plague up! Oh, controller! So good, so amazing. I want to build a control deck because we did a bunch of aggro experimentation yesterday, and though certainly, um, well, th there's this thing about just the way a lot of aggro decks work, and that they are very. Th th it depends on the construction in a way that I'm really weak at. Probably my biggest weakness in all of card games across Hearthstone, Magic, anything. I'm gonna be playing Netrunner on Friday. I'm sure if I try to be aggro and Netrunner, it'd be the same thing. I really suck at making aggro decks. <clears throat> um, I Because when I'm thinking about a control deck like what we're going to be building right now, we're building towards large plays like a Frostlich Jaina, large plays like um, a, a Dragon Collar Alana. Just re really big moments that the momentum will heavily swing in our favor. And so the questions that you have with control decks, I understand. How do I delay the game with things like sweepers? Something like one flame strike to kill six creatures, right? A lot of, lot of value there. How do I draw enough cards so that I can ensure that I can have an available sweeper? Right? If I only have like six sweepers in a deck, I need card draw to make sure that I do have those tools available for when it comes up. Um, things like this... Um, I, th I think I understand a lot. Whereas aggro decks, there's a much more diffuse identity to the cards. There's a much more diffuse identity to a lot of the cards, right? It's like, I need several good two-drop cards. And I need several good three-drops that can build upon the two-drops. And I have to know where piecemeal damage bits are coming from. Uh, I think that um, aggro hunter of the times of old is a good example of where my gap of knowledge is. Where sometimes it's just your eagle horn bow is going to hit him twice in the face. Maybe once in the face, once on a creature. We're going to get a Wolf Rider to hit once in the face. We're going to get an Animal Bite to deal five down the line. We're going to get a couple of Hero Powers in. If you look at an Aggro Hunter deck, there's no, there's no remarkable moment. when Gla Or I should say, there's no remarkable card that when you look at it, you're like, damn. Like, when you look at Frostlich Jaina, you look at it, you go like, oh my god, that's huge. Um, but I have a real tough time with these Aggro builds that have essentially unremarkable components compounded together. I think that this maybe is a really good current example. This was a legend rank odd paladin that um, has been doing very, very well at legend rank that we played a game of yesterday that looks kind of unremarkable in a lot of ways. Like if you look, we have one firefly, which is a one three. We have some, excuse me, which is a one two. We have some one threes. We have some one ones. We have one one that summons a one one. We have one one with divine shield. We can buff things but just by one. We have a Maul, which is a 2-2 weapon that occasionally just buffs things a little bit. We have a Flipper Man. <laughs> Fungal Mancer, give adjacent minions plus two, plus two. Giggling Inventor, two and one damage, respectively, of all those things. We have a War Gear, which effectively functions like an odd blessing of kings. You can play a War Gear on the Giggling Inventor things. You can play the War Gear on the Mecharu or on the Glowtron. We have a Corridor Creeper and a Vine Cleaver. And this is a monstrous, obnoxious to play against deck. Level up, I think, is the most obvious big power spike in this sort of deck, but you're gonna win a lot of them um, by plays that don't initially become apparent. Why are there two Void Rippers? Well, if we have a bunch of defensive one threes and one twos and we flip, it's an extra three to five damage that we can get in. If our opponent plays a Doomsayer, we play a Void Ripper, kills the Doomsayer. Ah, you're starting to see a couple of these kind of combo-y pieces. If there's big taunts, like a 410 Twilight Drake that's been taunted by a um, some defensive lady, some Fury Protector, that's what she's called. Then all of a sudden the Void Ripper can turn that into a 10-4. Like, it, it's very, I, I find that this, to, I find aggro decks to be so subtle in so many ways um, that I have a real weakness in building them. Now that I've done all that explanation, 
I just I just want to say and I'm not going to be doing this today. I think that what I really want to be doing is building control because there's a couple things that I find really fascinating in this. I'm going to just set it to Boomsday Project so I can sort of sift through these. I think Astral Rift, not really that interesting to me. Same with Celestial Emissary. Uh, it, it could be. It could be depending on the incidence of aggro decks. Slam a Celestial Emissary. Blizzard is now a flame strike. It's kind of cool. Research Project. This is the card I'm really interested in and running two of. Very cheap card draw that doesn't cause me to hit fatigue faster than my opponents. Let's see here. What's Meteorologist? For each card in your hand, deal one damage to a random enemy. Now, is this actually going to be good? I think on average we'll have six to seven cards in our hand. So this is kind of like a baby sweeper with a body. It seems very mediocre. Summon a random minion with cost equal to your hand size. Um, I think both of these are very mediocre. These seem very excellent in a elemental um, mage. Elemental mage, I think these would be fantastic. And I have a gold astromancer that I'm going to disenchant. I did hit cancel, didn't I? No. Whatever. Um, and what was the other one? Oops. Yeah, change the cost of minions in your deck to one. This is an interesting one. Stargazer Luna 2. Luna's Pocket Galaxy. After you play the rightmost card in your hand, draw a card. A little sad I accidentally disenchanted that, that one. So these are our tools. Let's take a look at some of the neutrals and see if there's neutral ones that really inspire some excitement in here. Just Boomsday cards. I'm also going to turn on crafting to ensure that we can see everything. Does not really... I think this is very unexciting for a control mage. Plus one health for each spell in your hand. Very unexciting. Very unexciting. These... Neither of these are exciting. A little bit of extra damage, but I'm going to be running Frost Bolts for sure. Summon a random minion from your hand that costs two or less. Alright, just general question. Is there a really nice neutral that when we look at we're just going to be like, oh, hell yeah, man. This could actually be pretty funny. This could actually be pretty funny. Starliner. I don't know if we'll ever actually peel off a Starliner combo. Arcane Dynamo. Discover a spell that costs five or more. That's an interesting question for me. Maybe an Arcane Dynamo could be very good. Arcane Dynamo could be very good. Let's take a look at the spells that exist in Mage that are five or more. So, okay, we have Deck of Wonders, Dragon's Fury, Meteor, Blizzard. So let's talk about Sweepers. We ha I'm going to count this as one. We have one, two, three, four... This is just a dead card. Wow. We have Pyroblast, Glacial Mysteries, Flame Strike, Meteor Blizzard, Dragon's Fury, Deck of Wonders. So the worst would be Deck of Wonders, Glacial Mysteries, Pyroblast. But even then I would just peel a Pyroblast. Okay. I think I think that's a good one. Um interesting. That's a really interesting little card. Uh, I think we look at five like this. There we go. Nice. That's that's a pretty high guarantee to get some sweepers. Now, if we look at our traditional style of constructing this, we would go Blizzard. We would go Meteor. Many of these decks run double Dragon's Fury, single oops, single Flame Strike. I part of me wants to run double Flame Strike, single Dragon's Fury, or maybe just one and one. I actually am going to run several expensive spells. Um, oh, wait. There's one spell. I realize there's one spell that we forgot about in this. One spell that we forgot about. I have all the spells except for Luna's Pocket Gateway. Galaxy, excuse me. 
Arcane Dynamo does not have a particularly remarkable stat line. It's 3-4, but I think that spell's quite good. Alright, let's start looking at some spells. Uh, do we want Arcanologist? I'm going to put in one. Definitely, well, let's peel that out for a moment. There's a real question, which is, if we run too many spells, a Dragon's Fury is kind of a dumb card. I really do want to run this research project. And uh, there's also things like Raven's Familiar that's a traditional tool that you would use in a control mage that I think, I think I'm think i simply not going to run it. I think I'm simply not going to be running it. Huh. Okay. Arcane Keysmith, probably not these. These decks typically run one of these, and then run two Voodoo Dolls. Since we have a lot of big dudes, go ahead and get the Dragon Collar herself in there. And largely we're going to be doing a lot of control. So I, I, I'm going to stop here for a moment because I think that there's some obvious critical good cards. Meteor, really good against single targets, really good against anything that has more than three minions. This is just a great card. Blizzard, great for delay, great for slowing down the game, which is exactly what we want. Flame Strike, kind of redundant. It's I think it's weaker than these two, but you know, it's I think it's great to be running one. Um, Arcane Dynamo, I'm interested in running, and I think that all these other pieces, oops. Actually, I can peel this out for just a moment. I think that this, this seems like a good shell Expensive spells, Arcane Dynamo getting me more uh, expensive spells to be able to get a nice Dragon Collar, a nice Frost Lich Jane. Now these are sort of, sort of our ending pieces. Now, if I if I stop and I say, if I ask myself the question, what are the decks in the meta right now that are significant? There's some Mechathuni things. I think the... Let's look at our Hearthstone deck tracker. At the decks that we played the most. Uh, it looks like almost half of everything is Warlock. With a pretty even distribution of the remaining classes. And there seems to be a good amount of aggressive archetypes. Why the hell is that what's showing up on the air? Oh, that's fine. Cool, we can use this. Yeah, so we have this typical odd aggro deck. This is amazing. Look at that. Just, it just showed up. This error turned out to be great. Uh, when I have my deck tracker, if I open XSplit before I open my deck tracker, then it defaults to this window instead of to the actual tracker for display, which in this case is good. So look at this. We, we played it as our Mechathune lock, where we went 16 and 16. We had a lot more losses at the end than we did at the start. But there was a lot of the aggro archetypes in there. If I look at this Blood Man, there was a good amount of rogues. There was some tempo eggy rogues and i think that we're going to be very very strong against these types of decks if i run um any number of polymorphs and voodoo dolls oh that seems good this even shaman also had a lot of warlocks we're seeing like a, it looks like a lot of warlocks are in there let's go ahead and set it to the overlay Doris, this is the word peel become a new favorite of yours. Heard a lot during the last couple of weeks. I sort of rotate through a lot of the poker lingo. <laughs> I play card games. So let's think here. I think that some other... Oh, yeah. I, I forgot about the very obvious Baron Geddon for the infinite heals. Um, so what do we think is actually going to be an issue? I think that some aggro th things are going to be the issue as well. Now, do I want to run two Primordial Glyphs and two Frostbolts? I think, yeah. Dragon's Fury is going to be increasingly mediocre in this regard. I think I might just get rid of it, because we have the Arcane Dynamo to get additional sweepers. That seems like very sound logic. I think, I think we'll probably want double Frost Nova.
I don't know how much I want an Arcane Keysmith. Arcane Keysmith feels nice if you can't run actual spells. Would uh, so here's a great question from Pale, uh, a Pale of Awesome. So would Raven Familiar and more board wipes be better than the Frost Bolts and Glyphs? Yeah, if we wanted to say no to this, no to this, no to this, and try to start our curve at Polymorph, sure that would work. But we are running two research projects, and I really think that this is going to be an important card in this matchup. I really think, that, or not this matchup, in this deck. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put Doomsayer, Ice Barrier. I think I am going to do the Frost Novas. I'm not going to be running any of the Dragon's Fury. I'm going to get in the Glyphs and the Polymorphs. Do I want, do I want another Polymorph? Maybe. What do I think about Voodoo Dolls instead of Polymorphs? I prefer Polymorphs because it also silences the target. A Voodoo Doll is good for various untargetable thingies. Uh, and I probably want one Arcanologist. Not two. One Arcanologist. This is going to be an interesting little card. I think a single Arcane Intellect is intelligent. And then I think I actually need some more threats. I need some more threats. Here's what I, here's maybe this will actually work. Mountain Giant. Uh, it's an elemental, so it works with Frostlich Jaina. We have a couple of ways we're going to be drawing. I don't know if these will actually be that good. I don't actually know if these will be that good. Part of me thinks maybe just Lich King. I think I do want one Arcane Intellect. The argument that I would be making with Arcane Intellect is that people are going to draw around three cards. This will be okay. It's an elemental now. Yeah. Uh, I like Syndragosa as a final card. Could be kind of a nice card to just slam down. I think I have enough early game though. I'm not the biggest fan of Stonehill defenders in Control Mage. I know that I think Stonehills are good if you are trying to be very, very slow. doesn't do much. We don't have any, like, monster taunts. Let me think for a moment. I think this deck does have an undoubted weakness against Mechathune decks. One Skulking Geist. Why not two Voodoos? More like, uh, why two Voodoos? Like, two Polymorphs I actually think is enough. I think one Voodoo Doll is just a little bit of extra. So, I think it's down to these final three cards. When I look at this low end, I feel like I have enough Stay Alive tools. Among Frostbolt, Doomsayer, Arcanologist, My Hero Power, Primordial Glyphs, Frost Novas, Ice Barrier. This is a good pile of cards. To delay, we have several Sweepers. We have, I'm really interested in this double research project, single Arcane Intellect. Arcane Artificer. Whoops! Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you. God, I really botched that one. Wow, thank God for chat. Who suggested that? I looked over and someone typed Arcane Artificer. Oh my god, Cloudbox J. I think other people may have been typing that, but Cloudbox, you're the one whose message I thought I saw. God, I can't believe I almost biffed that. Whoa! 
Uh, now we have one more slot. I think that I'll, I'll need something that has just a lot of value in it. I think Syndragosa is the right go-to card here for a first build. All right, cool. Now before, before I hop into uh, things, I wanted to note, um, actually let me let me say one or two more things about this deck. There's a couple things that I'm sort of hedging against. One is a lot of these more controly versions would not run a Syndragosa. It would have literally just these two. And then there would be two Arcane Tyrants in there. Arcane Tyrants are very nice given the propensity we have towards large spells. Um, it's an elemental, has life steal. I just don't think, uh, I just don't think we really necessarily need it because in the previous big mage decks, we really struggled on a low end. We would have Raven Familiars, Archonologists. We'd have like no spells at the low end. We would not have these Frost Bolts. We would not have these Frost Novas. So having an Arcane Elemental to be able to Meteor and then play an Arcane Tyrant is almost like a removal. Um, an Arcane Tyrant, I would say, even then was okay. It felt very much so like a 30th card sort of thing. I am more than willing to concede that this is a pretty reasonable card to go into the deck. But um, I'm going to try without it. I'm going to try without it. Now, before we go into this game, I'm going to be plugging this because... Uh, let, let me just double check on the date. Let me just double check on this so that way I don't lie. Uh, yes. The registration for the After Hours Gaming League, it's August 9th. It's going to be opening up and then closing on the 18th of August. Yes, that's correct. 18th of August. So the After Hours Gaming League is you get together with your coworkers, form a company team like Microsoft, Facebook, you know, Zynga, these are some of the season one teams. Workday was in the finals the last season and so on. You form a team with your coworkers, and then you register to play in one of the six games for the fall season. Heroes of the Storm, Overwatch, Hearthstone, CSGO, Rocket League, PUBG. We organize, uh, you know, four months of league play um, for you all to play in that will end in a grand final tournament. And the winning team gets money donated to the charity of their choosing. So in the fall season, we have the games just listed. Heroes of the Storm, CSGO, PUBG, Rocket League, Hearthstone, Overwatch. Um, in the spring season, we'll be having StarCraft II, Dota II, League of Legends. We'll be having all those goody goodnesses in there. Um, this is to allow people who were wanting to play in multiple games to have a little bit of a split. We didn't want to do, like, 12 games in one season. <laughs> so we're doing two seasons a year with splitting the games as opposed to one season a year stacking all the games. That was much favored by the folks. So, yeah, Psycho Sheep 42 says... I like StarCraft. Yeah, man, we got StarCraft in the spring season. We actually just wrapped up with the spring season After Hours Gaming League. Two seasons seems good. I'm also Ghost Stalker. I'm pretty happy about the two season Hello? plan. Greetings. An incredible discovery! Pretty damn excited about the two seasons. Kind of a mystery question lurking around. You know, it's gonna be the first time we run two seasons in a row. We'll just see if Eric um, and the captain's crew that helps run things. Just try to make sure they don't detonate. All right, I think this turn play is pretty clear. I think I just hit like this and blow this up. This is a secret mage. Arcane Artificer is going to be an essential component for us regaining the life when we're getting close to death. If this is a explosive rune, we're not that torn up about that. Um, we're going to have the Arcane Dynamo get its value and then die and absorb four. The real question is, if this is a counter spell, how do I ensure that this set of tools sticks? You know what I mean? 
What brand of coffee am I drinking right now? Uh, I think it's uh, an Ethiopian blend. I'm gonna go ahead and mute real fast and eat my lunch. I'm a little delayed today because there was a Comcast outage, so I had to spend a little bit of time ensuring that that good old Comcastage stuff was doing okay. So I think that if it is not a counter spell, then it's an explosive rune, certainly, and that's fine. It's not really going to do that much. But if it is a counter spell, I would more want the research project to get countered than anything else. But now that we know that it's not that, I'm going to be able to cast some spells some freely and sort of plan around things. But yeah, my day's been a little bit delayed due to the fact that I was, you know, just checking on my internet stuff. So, forgive me for eating yet again on air. I'm tr trying not to do that. I'm going to Primordial Glyph. This is a reasonable enough opportunity to do this. Cone of Cold, I think, will likely be better, or will it be Arcane Intellect? I think actually Arcane Intellect, because there's a sort of ever-looming threat of an Aleneth coming out, and me falling behind a little bit in this matchup, so I think it's okay. So we're going to go to 33. Seems a reasonable play as any. I think that he also has an, a second explosive rune in his hand. It's very hard for me to think wh why he's not playing cards. Um. Come on, child. Yep. Let yep. us wreak havoc. Okay, so I can't just play the Baron Geddon right now. I think this is probably the best play. It is kind of nice to have that. Let's go ahead and do this. Counterspell is going to be the biggest thing that we want to be thoughtful about walking into. So he has 14 cards, so he's going to be drawing four a turn. So this is in four turns, he goes straight into the fatigue zone. This is a counterspell. And what's for lunch? Asks Brooks Hearthstone. Well, it's chicken, spinach, and black beans, baby. We will shape this world to our will. So we're fairly certain that we are up against a counter spell. So we're just gonna go ahead and march right into it. A okay by me. Now, I think I do wish to Meteor here and leave a 1-2 open as opposed to Blizzarding. I think Blizzard has extraordinary value in that it actually slows the game down for a turn if he summons some even larger men. Does this deck really need a resource project and Arcane Intellect? Asked Brainboy98. It may not. We're running one Arcane Intellect. This has been historically my feeling when I play a mage. Um, but that could that that could actually just be plenty card draw with just research project. Arcane so Intellect is going to be one of the first cards that I just try to chuck out of like chuck out of Texas or whatever the heck the saying would be. All right, so now we're at turn nine, and I think we have a nice play here. So he's going to be want to play additional cards. Runs out on me. 
Might run into hand size issues how much card generation and draw you have. Yeah, that's absolutely true. We are running two Arcane Dynamos and two Research Projects. Arcane Intellect, 100% going to be the card. I'm looking closely at hunting. Or excuse me, to cutting. Revel in the power. One, two, three, four. I don't think we can do it yet, so we're going to play this Doomsayer first, because this is going to be an explosive rune. Boop. And then I'm going to play this guy, and just Blizzard in order to heal for six. really cool. That's really cool for a tempo mage, I gotta admit. I, mean, I don't want to admit, but I gotta. This is not an elemental, right? Okay, cool. Starlight. Holy mother of god. Shit, we died, didn't we? I think I misestimated this by a, by a pinch. Damn, didn't get a counter spell. All right, yeah. My hand is too full. Yeah, I think we actually died, but this was an interesting game. Blows us out. Hit him with that well played. Spellbender was the better choice, I think. I don't really know how that would have been the better choice. We're not really going to have any minions that he's going to be targeting anymore. Whereas, if he maybe needed spell damage to deal the pain, so. 6.5 says, I'm trying to diet out myself. How much black beans do you eat in a meal? A whole can seems a bit much. Yeah, I, I do about half a can. About half a can. Sometimes a little more than half. You asked for it. Can you blame me? I like Frostlet Jaina. Low sodium or no sodium? On the beans? I think they're just literally beans. I think it's just black beans in water and that's it. I don't know what he is, so I'm just gonna shoot. I think I played that last game okay. I think I played it okay. I think the big thing that I was noticing is that I blizzarded and I was unable to pick off his 401. I kind of went, I, I kind of played the Artificer in order to gain the six. I think it was actually incorrect to play the Artificer. I think I needed to set up for a Frostlich Jaina by clearing things out. So we're expecting some sort of lab recruiter miracle deck. I suppose it could be an egg hunter. Let's see if our Frost Nova Doomsayers are going to be good for us.
we gotta just, we gotta polymorph this. It's not even close. We're doing this because his deck is predicated on really insane egg turns. So I feel like this is going to be an archetypical, um, My hand is too full. I need to make sure I play very greedy kind of turn. I think I actually just draw again. Yeah, it feels good. That feels... Pretty My tight. Hand is too full. <laughs> well, he's whelpless now. That's good. I had a blizzard. Yeah, but I mean, this is this is not a threatening board at all. This is not this is not gonna freak me out. Oh my god! All right, so we we did it. I need to be profoundly greedy. So, um, th this deck is predicated upon lots of savage death rattle triggers, right? We've polymorphed both his eggs. We've burned both his whelps. I don't think he really has that many more death rattle triggers. So, <laughs> Cloudbox is whelp played. <laughs> I already feel more comfortable with Control Mage. I mean, I've played a lot of Big Mage in the last season. What? Yeah, no, I mean, I, I allow it. God, I'm so glad Cloudbox recommended this. Reality. I don't think I want to hit him with the duh. The doom sayers yet. I mean, he can he can try to kill the artificer. I'm probably just going to frost lich Jaina. That is okay. That is okay. Reality breaks. So 22, we're gonna go to 27. I think this is an okay time to Frostlich. Still am doubtful of keeping Frostlich Jaina first, but I just really like Frostlich Jaina! What's my favorite deck of the meta? No. It's probably I mean I'm I think I'm most successful with my warlock deck. Alright, I mean he's in a hurry, so that's fine. I was going to have to Ice Barrier Blizzard and not pop this, due to the fact that um, it's a little too easy for him to just kill me. Now that I have this, I do have some options. Time melts away. Yeah, I think that's just very, very clearly the best play. Like, super duper. Also shoot this. It's probably pretty nice, yeah. I think both plays are pretty good.
Check to see if the Paladin deck from last week is still good. I haven't GGTR Cabbage, but I have some thoughts on how to actually... Hook, line, sink, or kill it. I think it, it's, it was close between this play and then playing the Ice Barrier, because the Ice Barrier gains us 11 health, which is a lot in this matchup. And then next turn I can just ping and replay another Water Elemental, so that's pretty, pretty great. I love the, the feel of this deck, the slow, overwhelming. You know, Control Paladin in the beta of Hearthstone, one of my all-time favorite decks in all of Hearthstone, because it was just 1-1s, grinding them down with 1-1s in value. You may have heard me say, I think that gaining 11 might have been the play. Okay, so I think that, again, our play is fairly clear. This is a good board. This is a good board. Good. That's a fun little game. Dude, polymorph in the eggs. So sweet. So awesome. Jaina versus Valera. Watch your back. You asked for it. Fairly easy match, honestly. We got insane luck with the double whelp burn, the double egg fry. Okay. Turn 8 Frostlitch Chain. That will be helpful. I think if we see an egg, we might need to blow it up immediately. Oh, okay, well, I'll just shoot that. That seems mostly intelligent. I like one flame strike. Feels right to me. God, I can't believe I forgot about Baron Geddon. He has six high end sweepers with the possibility of getting more high end sweepers from Arcane Dynamo. Arcane Dynamo is a nice replacement for the Dragon's Fury, and because we don't have Dragon's Fury in the deck, we don't have as much of a constraint on our deck construction. What do I think is better here, drawing or glyphing? Well, he hasn't played a turn three Necrium Blade. So I think doing this is, is pretty tight. So you, like, I think, <laughs> yeah, there's the OTK Topsy Turvy Priest. I think that's maybe the best deck in the game right now. So many options. There once was a man from Gilnes. Done a lot. Ow! What a bastard! We're getting a touch low. But then I got high. Unity, precision, perfection. That's rush, so it can't do anything. I'm going to cross Nova and ping it. I think that's going to be the good play. Set up for a more significant blizzard next turn. This 
feels really good. One, two, three, four, five. It's actually just not that much damage. That is supremely good draw. I think I'm gonna wait till turn nine so I can Frost Lich and then do a one mana Frost Nova. The power of Primordial Glyph, really huge. Typically, there was just not quite enough sweepers for Control Mage to justify cutting the two Dragon Spheres. I should say Big Mage, there was not enough way to cut the Dragon Spheres. God, these Arcane Artificers are just magical. Okay, so Arcane Dynamos, I'm increasingly seeing, are the 1000% cast late. Reality. Like, this is a control matchup type guy. Which might mean that they're weaker. We might actually cut the Arcane Dynamos if we are not getting opportunities to play them. I mean, I've been pretty active every turn with our spells. So it, it might just be good to... Ditcheroo the man. Blow the man down. So, I mean, this is a significant threat. I see no reason to be conservative with our polymorphs in this matchup. So here's why we waited a turn to play our Lady Lich. Because I think that being able to do this and then Frost Nova is just way too powerful. I think it's just way too powerful. I mean, this is... I mean, this is stupid, man. Now Arcane Dynamo's a dynamo. For sure. Thanks, stay hydrated, but should have consumed at least four ounces of water. Why? For what reason? Um Alright. I guess, I mean, I don't I don't know. I don't see a reason to do anything too dramatic in this turn. Pretty good. I have these two things together. I'm the beatdown. God, that Arcane Dynamo is really clutch because if he Void Rippers and pops all his eggs, we're in grand old shape. Okay, so he attacked into one of our elementals. He's gonna be frozen for a double turn. waiting for him to pop all these things. Pop everything he's got. Right now he has a 4-3, and that's it. Yeah, that's... well, that doesn't, really doesn't bother me. If he flips these, Blizzard Doomsayer, man. We got the plan. We're the man with the plan. <laughs> I feel 
feel like I just did this turn. Do you feel that? That's kind of how I feel. I don't think I need to panic and frostbolt the 4-3. No, actually, this is this is this is a good opportunity to do this. I think I absolutely should do this. Because now he just doesn't deal damage. He doesn't deal damage and may only play a single minion at a time. And we have lots of ways to deal with single minions. This. This. Hell, even Meteor at the edge. This game feels great. Do we need the arcane intellect? I think maybe. Maybe, yeah. Engaging TC-130 into this locator. Ha 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 ha! Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Well played. Oh, yep. Dude, we've played three games. We've only dealt look. We only dealt twenty damage to the enemy hero in three games. <laughs> Control mage. Jaina versus Lunara. The forest fights back. You asked for it. All right, well, I think that the token brood is still like top of the line, top tier. Could be spiteful druid, but most of the druids that I see at least on streams are Mechathun druids. An incredible discovery. Malagos Drew is a good archetype. Yep. Probably gonna be very conservative with the research projects. Wait until his hand is full. And then uh, burn an extraordinarily large number of cards. I think that's actually a significant win condition for us. I think that this is the real benefit of Research Project and some control matchups. These, in a way, again, I don't get to fatigue faster than my opponent because I'm drawing two cards. But also, I mean, it's just there's a lot of these. Yeah, I mean, if this is a Malagos Druid. This is seven. How many did he draw? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Warriors of the frozen wastes. We don't really know yet. He looks very malagostly. My hand overflows. 
flows. Okay, good. All right, we got the twig. This looks like a. This looks like maybe a slam dunk. So life is over. It's really important he starts hitting my face soon. But then once I get a Baron getting down, we'll be in pretty, pretty damn good shape. All right, so let's just do this primordial glyph. It's probably the right decision. Maybe we do need to run one corrosive ooze. And there's something that destroys weapons. Power. It's a really good play. Reducing Malagos. Might be able to just blow us up now. Too bad I haven't drawn the Artificer yet. Too bad. We might be dead. We might actually just be outright dead here. So he goes Malagos. Copy Malagos. Shoot me in the face twice. We die. I am the essence of magic. Well played. Oh my god, Death Coil. Okay. <laughs> bom, bom, bom. See, part of me feels that that's not that bad of an outcome because I did run two artificers. I did run two artificers. Um. But if I look at the oozes, I mean, Cindragosa is certainly the most extraneous piece right now. I don't think there's a, a pretty reasonable number of weapon things. Which potion of Polymorph was still in the rotation? By Harrison for draw. Do not want more card draw. Really, really dangerous to have too much card draw with this. I'm gonna give this a shot because Big Mage does not really need a huge amount of threats at the end of the uh, at the end of the day. It's very much so an exhaustion style deck. You didn't lose to the weapon though. Yeah, yeah. No, I understand that. However, do note that th thus far we've played against. A mage, a rogue, a rogue, and a druid, and all four of those have had weapons. That's the that's the bigger reason why I am considering the gluttonous ooze. Okay, well, we're pretty much dead because it's a priest. That's too bad. So, this is probably the OTK Priest, and there's nothing we can do about it. I'm pretty sure that this is like a 0% matchup win rate. Yeah. Is it really that weird to just concede right now? <laughs> we have vengeance.
so screwed. Only if he is a traditional control priest are we okay. There's, there's essentially two win conditions that I can think of. One is we get a very nice counter spell off at a clutch time. Don't have a lot of elementals, huh? These guys. How do I not Luna? Because <laughs> I don't think it helps us at all. That would give us one mana... Geddon, Voodoo Doll, Ooze, Archaeologist, and Artificer. Oh, we may have luck sacked it out. This might actually be a control priest. And I think we do win that. Save this. Hmm. I might actually run a lesser ruby spellstone if I can get two more thingaroos in there. That is okay. Alright. Just this his deck just does not have that many minions in it, so. Your Geist seems pretty important if Mechathune Druid becomes popular. Like, if Mechathune Druid's popular, I just replace the Gluttonous Ooze with the Skulking Geist. Skulking Geist, how, do, how reasonable do I think that is against Malagos Druid? Eh, kind of irrelevant. Kind of irrelevant. Pro hand is too full. Uh, excuse me, research project has been a ridiculous draw. I mean, this is kind of silly how fantastic it has been. My hand is too full. <laughs> I mean, it's it's been consistently milful for us. That is okay. I'm just trying to empty out my hand a bit. We're 99% certain that this is a... Okay. Could have gone Blizzard, Frostbolt, shoot, but I think the Frostbolt has more value later, because he's, he's running low on Dragon Tools. He has Bone Drakes, Dusk Breakers, Primordial Drakes, these, you know, the thick, juicy value dragons. So perfect. I 
to just keep shooting him. Basically, we're just kind of chilling till we hit Jaina. Just kind of chilling till we hit Jaina. Um. Mind if I roll need? That's fine. I mean, he, he can Amara all he wants. It's not a big deal for us. Twilight. I mean, we have a blizzard, a flame strike, and a dynamo. I dream at the world trend. That is a okay by us. Saving this for Jaina, obviously. We need to save this for Jaina, though. Unravel. This greatly increases the probability that we get a few low. have been up for so long. Feels good to have 17 armor. I like I like this experience of being a 17 armored boy. Right? And then I can hit the 4-3 and then Baron Geddon to clear. It's a disaster! Yeah, dude, I see I see y'all chatting about that Echo Slam. So good. Too full. Job's done. Hand is too full. Sorry, I keep muting. 
yeah, if we, if we drew a Frost with Jaina here, I was saying that would be absolutely amazing. Oh, that hurts. That does suck a bit. Maybe I should have Jane at first. Maybe I should have Jane at first. Is cleared. It's fine. We have some options. God, if I lose to a control priest again, oh, Archbishop Benedictus to shuffle into his deck was pretty awesome. I'm just going to use my polymorphs. matchup might be a little too skewed to if I can get Frostless Jaina out early or not. I think I'm okay with that. Because it, like, in any matchup, I think Priests are just our real awful matchup. Because it's going to be the OTK style things. Or... Fire Blast could actually be really significant. Like, if we go Arcane Artificer <laughs> into another Pyro Blast, we just, like, shoot him in the face. Or, excuse me, uh, Arcane Dynamo. Whoa, he didn't, he didn't zap first. Good to be here with all of you. It's good to be here with all of you. Yeah, when in doubt, meme it out. You got it. You got it, Lysmith. You know. You know! Fine life that I've led. But why? Let's be honest, I'm not gonna not, huh? <laughs> Oops. And he burns his opportunity to gain armor. Yeah! This is this is crazy. Cast a random spell. 
That was crazy. All right, we're just leaning back. Hmm. <laughs> oh, f oh, God. I'll shoot him! Yeah! Whoa! Arcane Dynamo saving the day, friend. Alright. Oh my god! I'm almost up. I'm out of cards. Oh, that was pretty sick, I gotta admit. Shit, I could have pinged this. We take so much damage. Seven. Any world in which this succeeds. Is there any world? I mean, you are safe now. it's really hard for me to see any world. Stupid Amara. <laughs> God, that was so close. All right, that was a that was a fun game. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it's real hard while all this is going on, just knowing there's an Amara lingering at the back.
You asked for it. Alright. I love the longest game has ever been played in the history of Hearthstone. I think we win if we get the Frostlich Jaina a little earlier. Like just a pinch earlier. We're up against Squelch. using Togwoggle. Um, other good Togwoggly options. I don't really see any ones. That was Arcane Dynamo been working out. So far I like it quite a bit. So far I like it quite a bit. Is armor gain going to be that important for us? I don't actually think so. What to do? I really don't think so. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of warriors do like the unbelievably slow, slow grind you to death, slow style deck. Runs two of the um, weapons project. Two of these puppies. God, that's really great to have had a third meteor now. Stargazer Luna instead of uh, Arcane Elect. Ah, it seems like it would be weak. I mean, like, I have a lot of expensive spells. My rightmost cards are going to be expensive a lot of the times. Seems like a bit of a waste. An incredible discovery. I think it makes more sense in an aggro deck, like if you have two Sorcerer's Apprentices out. Play Stargazer Luna, cast a rightmost spell, cast a rightmost spell, cast a rightmost spell, cast a rightmost spell. I don't think armor is going to be that important. Reality. We might get another research project here. My hand is full. Bye, Rot Face. By Geosculper, yep. <laughs> I really think Research Project has been kind of an all-star so far. How do you feel about Alexstrasza in this deck? Could counter that Control Priest and Grindy Warrior decks? How would it counter the, the Control Priest? I don't really see how it would counter it. Crush the enemy! Defend Gilneus! I see a card, I blow it up. That's right, you should just run a mill mage. I mean, I'm basically running a mill mage. It's a control mill mage. It's a very thoughtfully constructed control ish mill mage. We I expect that he's going to be running a dead man's hand. We're going to favor our meteors. 
Oh. Over our polymorphs because of the Janus. I need some tutoring. I need some, like, draw a Death Knight from your deck. Probably not gonna go out in a Zeus right now. I just beamed myself. So good. Rather odd ordering. Gonna be slow and patient. There's the one that we want to blow up. <laughs> Might as well gain the armor, yeah. I mean, his, his the cards he gets from these are not actually that threatening to us. Actually lose because of that anti magic shell. I'm sort of banking on that. Being able to be cleaned up. Ghoul's a pretty interesting addition. If he frost mourns to kill this, we'll just kill it and then start burning his stuff down, which is good. Sayers that this gruel is gonna kill me, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna have to voodoo doll it, but it's kind of funny. The gruel is actually being that effective. <laughs> Everything's untargetable. Everything. I was not panicked about that until the anti magic shell came down. Doomsayer, basically. Although I kind of wish that he had not. value out of the Sarah, which sucks. Hey. Hey.
Seventeen six is the shroud is pretty bad. It's kind of a tricky pickle. Alright, so he's not gone infinite, but he's gone. Man, there's a lot of decks that shuffle additional decks into their decks. Is you, Sarah? This is Gruel. They're, they're a little bit tricky to see. Wow, aren't you a turn late? Lots of jerk. I gotta do all this, Garbo. Ah, that really screwed up my game. I feel like I actually do need some more strength in this high end. I think maybe I'm a little too comfy in the low drop area. I can just slam slam Jaina maybe. I can't target that. That's good. Get that one. I might want to try to work in a Lich King and two Mountain Giants. I think Mountain Giants are okay enough. Dragon Caller Alana might be too slow, but she seems just so powerful. We don't need another ice barrier. It's actually pretty nice. Actually, this is it. Well, I have some presence on the board, but might not be enough. For all such Jane in the bottom, three cards. Kind of stinks. Generally, not sure what I do about that. Could have just a handful of nightmares, and that, you know, sucks, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> I like the way this deck feels like a lot. I think against some more basic matchups, we're in good shape. These, I can shuffle additional copies of my deck into my deck. That was a little painful. I think he, he, he might literally run one brawl. It might be the one brawl, actually. Oh. having trouble dealing with two. Maybe these dragons are our key to victory. Maybe our deck's actually okay. Maybe we cut the two ice barriers, cut the Arcanologist, replace, replace that with two Keysmiths. So we have a little bit of a tighter construction. Wow, in the bottom two cards of the deck. I'm almost out of cards. <laughs> it was the bottom card in the deck. <laughs> Three four is meaningfully intimidating. 
He has another blood razor. I mean, he has some biology. Pro he has some weapons left. We saw him draw. I feel like I've been here before. All right, there it is. Boom. Bam. deck feels. It's pretty it's pretty damn fun. I think cutting the ooze and just slamming Lich King in there is going to be a positive change. I think uh, maybe I, mm, I there's some experimenting that I really think I need to do. Plays another dude. Cause I'm gonna call it Kona Cold Polymorph Ping and start going in. I think we held the polymorphs too long this game. There was not really a turn where we could have polymorphed. He had anti magic shell on anything, so I kind of ran out of opportunities to even target things. Yeah, I think that 9-5 is going to kill us. Ah, well played. Well played. I can see to your power. Man, that was a surprisingly close game. Started there, rank 5, no stars. We get to chill there a little bit. Controller! Kind of liking the way those guys are operating. I might go down to just one. I think this is pretty good. I don't know if this is too slow against the aggro tools that we have, but I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna give this a try. And I'm gonna give Lich King a try. We're gonna we're gonna try to just get a, just a few more threats in there. I think that I feel mostly confident about kind of how our early game control is going. I think that if we had just one or two more threats, we could really really jam in there. But uh, yeah, that game really it was that when he summoned the three dudes. Totally not alarmed. I had so many strong tools. But damn, when he frickin' played the anti-magic shell on him, that was just like, ooh, oh. Is there any other decks that you'll try today? I was tempted to do some sort of control-ish paladin. All right, we won. <laughs> I really don't know about the mountain giants. I really don't know. I want to try. Part of me feels like. Cutting the two mountain giants, putting in other things, is gonna be a little more effective. Is someone injured? Like just a more blunt card that you can play. Just like yes, oh. more blunt card like a Syndragosa. Mountain giants feel like they'll be good. They're, they're sort of like a drop in the middle of the game threat. Feels like it will be particularly nice this, in this matchup. <laughs> oh, 
Now I'll go straight to dry try. I haven't tried it yet. There's just been I have I felt like I had played a crap load of decks. And it still has not actually been that many. It's amazing. so far. I just love the way this deck plays. There's a couple of cards. Arcane Keysmith, Mountain Giant, Lich King. I think Lich King feels right. It feels good. It feels like a good card to include in here. Especially with the Mountain Giants. Another card to go in there. Arcane Dynamos. I like a good bit. Our opponent may have lost connection. With reality. Guys, we're doing it. Skews is old news. Tried an academic espionage deck. I have not. the warrior didn't man that anti-magic shell was really strong we have our tools to defeat large threats we actually had a polymorph and the um voodoo doll in hand i thought i had a few turns that i could afford to do some stuff in for the beams hitting for eight feels really good <laughs> he loses connection he loses connection, and then you know what happens? His Mechathune gets burned. <laughs> Alright, that's good. Well, let's start barreling out the goods. Nice. One and oh. Bye, skews. Oh, excellent. We are just Fahrenheit 451ing these decks, dude. Every single game, I think we've burned cards in our opponent's deck. Like, all of them. <laughs> Jane versus Gul'dan. Now this, I really hope, is an aggro deck. I really hope it. Now do I keep an Arcane Keysmith in this kind of deck? Let's try it. I don't really have a good feel for Arcane Smith. Arcane Smeesmith. Oh, we won. Mountain Giants, I think, are an intelligent to add, I think. Someone called the doctor. I think I frostbolt. I see an imp. I frostbolt. Alright, so we're gonna shoot one. We're gonna play the Arcane Keysmith. I mean, you hero power is me. actually just so not so good against this heal deck. Now we have Frost Nova Doomsayer. If we can delay a little bit, then we just ramp right into our huge things. Arcane Dynamo, I'm realizing, is more of like a turn 10 play. A turn 10 plus play. I mean, you're rarely ever going to drop that on turn 6. Let's go ahead and slam this down. He has only, like, Soul Fires... So, I don't think that those are actually going to be very significant. He can have the infusion that, like, buffs things. But I think probably the best thing to do is to just slow down his presence upon the board. 
in the light's name. So he's gonna go trade, and then he's gonna slam that in. See you later, alligator. So I think the best play is to Arcane Artificer and Frost Nova to gain a bunch of armor. I think it seems very smart, right? And then next turn we can Meteor. Wasn't he Legend last month? Yeah. How many times have I gotten Legend? I have no idea. Ooh, baby. Now, how do I wish to shoot her? Probably like this. Because if he pops here... If he pops here, then this goes to four, and then I have a flame strike. And the next turn I play a mountain giant for eight, and then the next turn I frost lich Jaina, and I have a mountain giant that heals me. See, Dravid says, Do you see she made Channel Fireball's top five magic plays last week? What? Is this a joke? What was it? Plays better. What what top five play could that possibly have been? I mean, I think that like this might be the world's greatest example. Stop copying me! Stop copying me! A broken clock being right twice a day. See, Drep, you've linked me the video, but I can't watch it. Can't watch it right now. We are in a game right now. Mountain Giant heals you? It's an elemental now. Isn't that nuts? Arguably the weakest matchup for this research project, but still feels like it's gonna be good. Being able to heal for eight. Hot diggity damn. Yeah, if you wanna hit it, that's fine. Thing there. Like I just don't care. Okay, this feels amazing. You got kicked in the face with fight with fire. <laughs> Shit. Oh god. Why do you call? Yeah, I remember that one. Oh, how I remember this moment. Okay. Dude, we just we just keep healing up. I think we're probably gonna have to do uh First we're gonna do this, we're just gonna see what we get. Wow. Wow. Zero mana frost bolt is good. <laughs> oh my god. Healing for eight. Damn. See, I was worried that the Mountain Giant... I was a little worried that it would be like playing for 8 or 9 mana in some circumstances, and in the circumstances where it did. Feels good, man. Alright, do we want to Lich King here? It seems like an acceptable play. Alright, so I think the plays are clear. We hit like this. Stop here. Uh, we hit here to keep our mountain giant alive. This freezes this. Yeah. Alright. Mountain giant Lich King. Great calls. And that's really going to help us in a number of these um, fatigue-ish matchups where we just have some identity. We have some threats. Alright, some water. Just 
Jaina versus Thrall. For Doomhammer. You asked for it. Shaman. Yeah, this is the sort of deck that would blow us up with Shutterwalk. I think this is actually a fine keep. Do I hear flip flops? Yeah. Here's my flip flop. You like that? Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Greetings, friend. I like my red shoes best. So he's not an even shaman. Presumably this is a shutter walk. I'm going to proceed under the presumption that it is a shutter walk. How important are Baron and Alana in this deck? Baron is really good for swinging it back hard in your favor. You play the Baron Geddon after you've played Frostlich Jaina, and she heals everybody for one billion. <laughs> Yay! I mean, Shutterwalk is really a... Uh, it's so last meta. I'm gonna shoot that. We've received no information as to what this could be. Received no information. It's a Shutterwalk. A big bad shutter walk. All right, this is the key. There was a counter spell there. Shoes indoors so strange. Yeah, I really like wearing shoes at all times when I'm awake. I mean, I gotta do this. I think this is a losing matchup for us, but... That's pretty amazing. Truth is found in death. Let the pain speak to he me. He appears to be rather shutter walking. Arcane Artificer is going to be important for us to heal up like a lot, 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 but I mean, he could just hex, which, you know, what are you going to do? Alright, it seems that we agree on the importance of this dude. I just get a cheap flame strike would be good. Wow, those are bad. Need a key. Unravel. Um, yeah, I don't really know how I win this. I almost feel better against these Mechathune decks. I think the Shutterwalk deck is pretty damn great. Way we draw. Yeah! <sighs> uh -huh. I think I, I, 
like absolutely 1000% gotta start digging in the deeps. If I do this again, then I can. Yeah. Really bad card for us. Everything we have is like some sort of battle cry. We have Alana. I mean, only the Baron is reasonable. This has battle cry. There's the second hex, so that's useful. Not really that useful, but it has some value. heal, but I don't really know what else I'm supposed to do. I, I will say, I do like Mountain Giants in this deck. I feel like I can have some threats. I, I just do think this is a bad matchup. I'd love to be up against some more aggressive decks, frankly. entirely possible this is a deck that just makes the game go on for a long time and that we have just a really low win rate anyways oh crap so cold uh, uh. This is good. Maybe, yeah. Some high value dudes, for sure. One mana dragon color Lana would be nice. Alright, volcano time. It's time for some volcano coniosis. Deck have a plan to deal with Mechathune. Um, depends on the deck. We've been milling a lot with Biology Project. That is the big plan. Alright. Reality. And Kelt is going to be important. I kind of want to peel uh, an Alana. I'll walk into that. A lot of other good opportunities for him to use that. Dude, this is painful. Bad news for myself. Alright, one time. This is the only play that I see. Good luck to me. All I see this is all I got. I wonder. Did we not have a shutter walk? I see. One time. Oh, 
stack of cards. Maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. I don't quite have the most damage on board, but eh, maybe. Actually, no, we just we just straight lose, right? 5, 10, 15, 20, 23. I think I needed to Army of the Dead and then slam down. No, that would have been bad because there's it would have filled our board anyways. My jaws that bite, my claws that my jaws jack. that bite, my claws that jack. I think I think we are dead. My jaws that bite, my claws that jack. It's gonna concede. Is there is there any weird combination of things? These aren't elementals. There's any combination of things. Triple life drinker is rough. Damn. There's a few matchups that I think we literally lose if we're too controlling, which is why I'm glad we put in the Mountain Giants and uh, Lich King. That bite my claws that smash. Jane versus Morgo. You asked for it. All right. Let's assume that this is. I don't know if we can make any assumptions. Arcane likes a nice draw. I think we don't keep the Doomsayer. Maybe just one. So, wh what's our strategy if we're up against Shutterwalk? I think we just need to... I mean, we basically just need to build a board really fast, but... Alright, well, we're sad. Again, probably Shutterwalk deck. So we are a deck that's good at grinding people out. Um, I think we got slightly unlucky in the Priest and the Warrior game, which I'm fine with. Tiny Little Dragon says, I sub to express my vast disappointment and unyielding contempt for decks without dragons. This deck has so many dragons that get summoned in it, man. In fact, this deck gets chalk full of dragons. His name is Fatal Aggro. Alright, so I think we just Keysmith the Giant Giant. Spellbinder is way too important to have because we're about to play Mountain Giants that are hex targets. The ability to drop these Mountain Giants feels nice. Feels nice. We might not need an Arcane Dynamo. I think it's like a cool card. From 1 3 to Frogmanship. Not letting 
that one stay alive. Alright, maybe we win like this. Maybe we ditch the Keysmiths and put in Twilight Drakes. <laughs> I don't know. I think the Mountain Giants are not amazing due to having a large hand size all the time. Lightning Bolts and Volcano. Giant rotated out. Yeah. Mountain Giants are good in that they heal us up. They're acceptable threats as 8 eights. I like how this deck is feeling. He's a little overloaded. Whoa! I got my very own zap. Reality. I'm gonna go ahead and start the armoring up. He doesn't have a board. I mean, uh, technically, he could be a control shaman. Technically. Technically, there could be a big flood of the board that happens at some point. Technically. But we have Frost Nova Doomsayer, so I think we're okay. Intriguing. I think we're in better shape than I thought. I mean, we're all running two polymorphs, which again we like more than voodoo dolls. Does the deck not have a single Boomsday card? It has Arcane Dynamo and Double Research Project. have a bit of the look of a Sapphire Spellstone deck, which, what do I think? Are we better or worse than that deck? We prefer Polymorph to Voodoo Doll because Polymorph transforms it into a sheep, so none of the death rattle effects apply. It's an awful heavy expenditure to keep a one guy alive. Well, let's just get a sheep right now. Turn him into Frown Town. Wow, that's weak. That's almost certainly the best card, though. Good turn. Death grip. Ooh. Can I say I've been playing Overwatch at night, and it's been a lot of fun. Not by any means in the like rich, deep skill game sort of feeling that I get when I play something like, you know, Dota, where I just feel like there's this world of possibilities I want to explore. 
that's a great draw. So we're gonna zap this. But just like the oh tight, just in like the pure raw fun of just like firing up a game, playing with some people. My brain does not click with shooter games, generally speaking. So I my brain is like unaware of all the sort of uh, okay one two three. I don't think that's good enough. I think we just chill. <laughs> Palo Wow says, I feel very much like you said that Overwatch thing a few months ago. Yeah, no, like four months ago I just played little teensy bit. Hey. And we're winning, great. Yeah, she's been firing up and playing with friends. It's pretty, pretty damn satisfying. Pretty much just play three characters, Arisa, Reinhardt, and Winston. <laughs> Why not questions kill me? There's been a lot of them lately. Because instead of saying, why not D.Va, you could say, do you play D.Va? Because the answer is I just never really play D.Va. So there's no reason for me not to play D.Va. <laughs> do you play Hammond? I haven't played the hamster yet. I don't even, I don't even know what the name of the, the character is. It's Hamster. It's hamster. Okay, let's see how this works. If I do this, and I discover a spell twice. What? Oh, that's kind of stupid. Why not enjoy the why not questions? Sure. Um, I, I dislike why not questions for a few reasons. First, um, it there's an implication there that is almost always not true. The implication is, I thought of the thing that you mentioned. And I have reasoned my way through it. And you you're requesting that, right? So, like, 90% of the time, if you say, like, why not play D.Va? It's just like, I don't have that reason. I don't have a reason not to play D.Va. Alright, good. We've gone through the lightning storms, and now it is a good day to do this. Second reason I don't like why not um, is that um, it's often inaccurate for the asker. You know, for instance, I maybe you're a viewer and you want to theme, see me play a Mechathune deck, right? Maybe you want to see me play a Mechathune deck. So if you say, why not play a Mechathune deck? I would go, oh, I played it yesterday. And then I feel like I totally satisfied your question. All right, cool, all right? But, um, what you're really saying is, what you really wish to say is like, Hey, Dana, I would really love if you played Mechathune again. I really want to watch it. And then I might go, I played it yesterday. And you're like, yeah, I saw it yesterday and I loved it so much I want to see it again. And now I'm like, oh. Or maybe you say, oh shit, I have no idea. I'm going to turn you off and watch the VODs now. <laughs> like, um, that sort of thing. But third, and the reason that I dislike it most of all um, Jaina versus Lunara. is that it's sort of the forest fights back. 
you asked for it. I mean, to be sort of strong-languaged for a moment, it's kind of lazy. There's a probably a big, nice, juicy thought in your head that you want to share, and instead of doing that, you say, you figure it out. You know what I mean? I especially find that this winds up happening in situations like creative brainstorming. You know, where someone's basically goes, why not do it this way? That person really should be saying, I propose doing thing X because of reason one, reason two, reason three, reason four. That is a constructive type of thing. But if you go to someone else and say, why don't we do thing X? You're basically saying, I'm proposing this idea, you figure it out. And I think that for most people in day-to-day -day conversation, they don't feel that third one as much as I do. I think that I am slightly unusual in my dislike of that third reason that I feel like it's just putting a burden on me. Um, and, and I know that the reason that this happens for me more so, I want to see where this goes. I want to see where this is going. Forgot I gained two mana crystals, whatever. Um, I get asked why not questions a lot. Why not play Monster Hunter? Why not do Mechathune? Why not do this? Why not do this? Why don't you do a show structure focused on indie games? Why don't you do that? And so, um, you know, it's fucking tiring. <laughs> tiring to get hit with that like all the time. Dude, never do spiders. All right, we're going to because he's ramping so hard. We're going to conserve our meteors and she's blizzards. We're also conserving our research projects for when he has used ultimate infestation. Here's something that's amazing, though. Here's something that's really amazing, if you think about it. Any question that begins, why not do X? Think of all the questions that you have in your head that begin in that way. Why not do X? can actually be reframed as a statement. Not even a question, a statement. Why not do Mechathun Druid? Someone's saying, instead, I would love to see you play Mechathun Druid. Say you're doing creative brainstorming, right? Say you're in a team of writers writing for a TV show. Why not do this? Hey, I think we should do this. I don't think he has a good way to deal with this other than naturalize. See, a Sundial Watch says, I think you should try D.Va. She's a tank, and she's kinda in between Orisa and Winston in playstyle. See, fuck, I love that. You took the like this this processed nugget of information and you're sharing it with me, and now and now I go, ooh. It's in between Arisa and Winston, ha! Huh, and now I'm getting excited at the idea of playing it. I just literally never thought about playing D.Va. Now here is a... I think this is a fantastic use of why not questionage style from Zane Vaidlin, who says, You keep hesitating to play uh, Glyph on turn two. For instance, you ping on turn two. Why? Why not do that? Or uh, why... Why not do the glyph on turn two? Yeah, see, that's like a completely reasonable, focused, clear, concise, precise statement. This could be good. Got to do biology project here, anyways. Uh, and I actually can give a very clean answer for that, which is I really think it's important to know what kind of opponent your deck is playing before just jamming a glyph out there. Sunburn says, what about saying, have you considered instead of why not? I've thought about that, and I think the issue with have you considered is that, once again, the answer is very often, no. <laughs> 
Have you considered playing D.Va? And then I go, no. And then I'm done. Cool. I've, I have, I have accomplished my responsibility. I answered the question. It, it is not as, um, you know, burdensome, but it is freaking not helpful, you know, for progressing the interests of the asker. Now, why would he lesser Jasper Spellstone that? Leave the key. <laughs> Leave the key. That makes sense now. Damn. Sundial will watch says, what other kinds of questions get under your skin or ways of communicating? Um, mine, mine, mine. a general category that I've thought a lot about in the last 10 years is, oh my God, countered. What was the other secret I put up there? Vaporized. I've thought a lot about ways of communicating that put the onus on the other person. I try to think oodles and poodles about that. I think I think just slamming down the chain is good. Do not fear power. Anything that puts the onus on the other person, I think about that a lot. I think about that a lot. More and more and more and more. And by onus, I mean I do something, say something, ask something that suddenly creates this responsibility for the other person to do something for me. And I'm going to talk about that after I try to win this game. So this is not an important card anymore. This is the one that we're going to blow up. Yeah. Um, if we get deep enough, we have this we have this doom pact here for whenever he tries to hadronox our little butt off. We also still have our double polymorphs here as well, so that's very nice. So he's getting two of these puppies, which is fine. Damn, that feels nice. Damn, that feels nice. Like, after cube blocks were really, really powerful, and I control maged my way through a number of cube blocks, I gotta say, I'm really impressed with this deck's ability to withstand a lot of reflooded boards. Is he gonna naturalize? Okay. Nine to his three. Great. This is okay. Yay. Is there anything that we really don't want to lose? I mean... Oh, nice. He dreamed it. Yeah, Blizzard it would have been pretty nice to keep, but that's alright. 
I'm gonna use Pyroblast and win here. I'm gonna use Pyroblast and win here. That's gotta be the best one by far. So I don't want to play this other one. We have another Frost Nova, and he has some more Hadronoxes in there. I'm going to go ahead and hit like this. We're just going to start bringing some HP down. Hitting into this one so I can have a better chance of clearing these two puppies with this. My thanks, Chief. I'm almost out of cards. I'm almost out of cards. Arcane Keysmiths are going to be a little annoying. Okay, so we need to do this in the right order. We need to first play an Arcane Keysmith. Reality woven. There's your clones. They're going to play the Baron. We're going to shoot him in the face. Great. So if he had an explosive rune, that would have blown up our Baron Geddon, so we had to play that first. Yeah. Hooray! Do I really want this Arcane Dynamo? I think Arcane Dynamo is a little dino slow. Too bad. Or not a lich. Oop, not Lich King. I like I like a good old Cindragosa. Cindragosa jelly time. But yeah, I, I I try to think a lot about ways of communicating that put an onus on the other person to do something. You know. And I try to think about ways to soften that. For instance, I'm in a work project and I want to, and I'm very confused and I don't agree. Gina. Versus with someone Thunder. else's decision making. I like, I think we should do this, Sean. You asked for it. What is? Oh shit, it's an aggro deck. None of these. I want to be aware that if I try to poke at that person, um, and like ask them about it, that's that can put a lot of pressure on another None person. Make them feel a little flustered, stuff like that. Like. Dude, I just don't understand why we're doing this. Why? Why? Like, explain me. Why don't we do it this other way? You know, things like that. That's, like, extreme. But if you just make that experience nicer, again, to try to make sure that when they have the onus of giving an answer, they feel comfortable giving the answer. If I say something like, um... Converting stored energy. We could be dead. And we won. So I might do something like like that, like say, hey, I was wondering, like, can you talk to me a little bit about this? Like, I think I just have some, it's like, I'm, it's not clicking with me right now. And, you know, I know you thought about it, so why don't you just like talk to me a little bit about it. Notice that I've tried to de-pressure. It's not that you didn't explain it to me previously, so you fucked up. It's, I'm not getting it. Nice. I think we do need to dig. This is the matchup where I'm a little worried that we may have too many thick dudes in there. Cinder Ghost I might just cut if we lose pretty horrifically. Okay. So this might be a good uh, Artificer, Frost Nova, Coin, Frost Bolt. 
Okay, this runs the Mechano Egg. Actually, I think this is this is better for us. We deal better with large, pointy threats. Reality. No, you know, I think I think we actually coin Biology Project here because I just really need to get to some of those six mana solutions because we do have one, two, three, four, five. Six significant sweepers. Damn, we have a nutty hand right now. Fuck. I guess it's just Blizzard. Youch. Do I just not have enough tools for this? I mean, I, I basically removed the arcane or the uh, uh, arcane artificers for the arcane keysmiths. We might argue is a fine play. He might just want to sack his board and think that's the better play. He might just want to sack it. Reporting for duty. We need a couple of... Nope. That's not going to do it. <laughs> Kaboom! Maybe if Cindergosa was a cheaper card here. Dink, dink, dink. Void Ripper is a really good card. It's a really good card. Yeah, you know, I think Cindergosa might just... We might just have a little too much oomph in there. I think, you know, another early game defensive tool seems, seems fine. I think it seems totally reasonable. No, 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 no. Maybe Pyros. Yeah, maybe. I kind of want a 2 3 guy. I miss my Arcanologist, man. Arcane Keysmiths have been okay. I think I actually like this better. I'm really not sold on the Keysmiths. We still got the Mountain Giant and the Lich King in there. I think that's pretty good. And this generates more cards into our deck. I have not been amazed by Keysmith, but maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Dude, I have not stood up in three hours. I love playing Jeez. Control Mage. Never mind, I hate this. We're fucking dead. We don't lose against we don't win against Priest, man. We don't win against Priest. Oh god. Oh. Alright. Guys, we died. We died in my lap. Isn't that sad? Maybe the Keysmiths have actually been good. Like Archaeologist Frost Nova is very clearly anti. Aggro. 
Archaeologists and Ice Bears are very clearly anti-aggro tools, and I think that that's what we need. Because if you look, if you look at four and lower, we basically have Ice Barriers, Frost Novas, Glyphs, Frostbolt, Doomsayer, Archaeologists. Th those are. Excuse me, what? Maybe we okay. By the way, a little while ago, I saw people talking about Visual Studio Code. God, I love Visual Studio Code so much. Ooh, I use the Dracula color theme. This is, this is so dumb. Alright, is he gonna get there? I'm gonna keep bopping him to try to reducto. He's gonna... Draw an elemental from the deck. Is that a radiant elemental? Is the only elemental he's got? He's down a divine. He's down divine. Die. We actually do have a much higher likelihood of winning in this matchup. Clearest meter I've ever had in my life. You don't get plays much more clear than that. Now he doesn't have any way to generate extra value, so you got the polymorph. I'm not as scared of this 1-6 because he's already used a single divine spirit on it. Could divine it again, but I'd polymorph it and kill the 2-1. Tallweed says, what up, day plot? Hope you're having a good day. Just got off work, and I'm tucking into some Chinese food. Enjoying your stream, man. Messages like that just make me so happy. Like, the most happy. Oh, Chinese food does sound good. Oh, I gotta read this question. Because I just want to... Really? He doesn't have any more Divine Spirits in his deck, unless this one was created from a Glyph. You can enter fire it, but it's fine. Yeah, I gotta read this. Rollin Rocks is a professor that teaches C++ using Linux. He says that he prefers that, since it's easier to learn, you don't have the complications of using an IDE. Immortality. Funky. But hear your opinion on this. If you have one, please and thank you. I really don't, man. I don't know anything about Linux. I don't... I know no things about Linux, in fact. I know, like, very, very, very nothing about that. At last. Holy At shit, that is so funny. Alright. Alright, I got the play. Five and a seven, okay. You just want freeze spells. Oops, should have done it like this. Alright, face is the place. No, I shouldn't have done that! I am so terrible. Fuck. Oh my god, I needed I needed to not play the arcane artificer. Then I could have just played this and Frost Novid. 
What a klutzy thing to do. It's fine, I'll just do this. May as well. Depending on what he does, because this is 8, and this is 9, and this is 3 for 12, and this is 13. So, I mean, if I hit, resummoning a dude, and then I blizzard, and then hit again. Seems good. This could be dangerous. Alright, we killed him. Because this is 8, this is 9. Another 3 is 12, another 2 is 14. <sighs> Thank God for Mountain Giants, man. Well played. Got shot one of the greatest cars from New Phyrexia. One Phyrexian red. So, uh, we've kind of turned it around. In our last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games, we've gone five and two. I think we're, we're honing in on it. I think it was the adding of the Mountain Giants seems to be the, the nut play. Seems to be the nuts. Did I just get biologically projected? Okay. I think that behooves us. Man, if he does it for draws, that's great. Draw and draw. Super good. This card frightens me, uh, late game. Wherever it is. Wherever it are. Hang on to that biology project until we can. Excuse me, research project. Nourish to max out. He gets in his final whack. Yeah, I think I just like the reliability of always having two ice barriers and having an Arcanologist. A 2-3 stat line is such a very... It's just a clear thing to mulligan for. It replaces itself. I mean, it's, that's just really nice, you know? Clear Frostbolt ping. Um, Arcane Tyrant says Mechathun or Token to me. against Mechathun. I think we are generally unfavored against Mechathun. Switch out Lich King for Millhouse Mana Storm. You got it. <laughs> I blame my role since I'm guessing it's a question you've heard before, but what match the gathering mechanic would you love to see brought to Hearthstone? I mean, generally, this is like such a... Such a generalized question. 
Doesn't mean it's just a generalized answer. But my answer would absolutely be interaction on your opponent's turn. I, I, I love when card games have back and forth. I think that's like the hallmark of what makes magic, magic. Okay, so if he's gaining six armor, ooh. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense now. I also probably should have shot one of these beforehand. Let's do this first. Want, I just want back and forth. I like back and forth. You cast thing on me, I respond. Or even something that's like artifact or um, Legend of the Five Rings style. You do a thing, I do a thing. You do a thing, I do a thing. You do a thing, I do a thing. If he double savage roars, sucks. <laughs> Time waits for no one. Hmm. I think we're actually dead in this game. This token druid's real rough to play against. extremely low on tools. He's used both of his branching paths, one of his wisps, one of his soul of the forest, and he's used one spreading plague. He essentially only has one more will of the wisps and one more spreading plague to generate tokens. And if we can withstand this, do I die? One, two... I think at the very least we get low. Let's see, that's Savage Roars. Okay, so if I hit like this, and then Flame Strike and Ping. Okay. So if I do this, Reality. and I hit here, and hit here, and I do this. This is pretty good. We're expecting that he does a ultimate infestation. Gotta kill that. Yep. Yeah. This is gonna be really, really close. It's not actually the play. Do we get anything good? No, this is not a good play. I think we do this first. Oh, 
Hallelujah. My is too full. Well, that's a bad one to burn. Max Plank says I was watching a clip from your stream yesterday. That's good news. Oh my god, Frost Nova! Frost Nova! Yeah, Frost Nova! Such a good card for us. Woohoo! Alright, he has very few token generators. We're, we're polymorphing, it's 100%. And yeah, Max Plank says, watching a clip from stream of the day where you gave the interview advice in the form of clenching your butt. I found it funny because I'm a voice teacher and clenching your butt can actually grant you better control over your breath. Truth be told, that is precisely why I strongly encourage people to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How do we how do we get Jaina out? I think we do not do it this turn. What to do? What to do? I think we don't do it. I think we do not do that. No, 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 no. no. If I do this and I gain five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine damage. I have eight plus two is ten is fourteen, and so I'll be at nineteen. Nineteen versus nine, so is there any way for him to deal ten damage? He's just both of his. No, there's not. Not that I can think of. Even if he double swipes and hero powers, I think that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, and then double swipe, and we're at 19, and then hero power. Ah, shit. He's used both of Savage Roars. He's used both of his. Uh, he's used both of his Savage Roars. He has used both of his branching paths. Oh my god, we're actually gonna win. Good, 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 good. Never closer to the Baron. we need is for this to start hitting that. I think this is his only remaining source of damage. So if we can do that, we can win. Now we have a lot of healy dealy doos. And I have units on the board that can pop things that have death rattle and then flame strike away. Yes, we won. He can't win anymore. Fuck yeah. Yeah! This game was great. Yes! I mean, he was very wasteful with his branching paths. That is why we're in good shape. Have you thought about playing Potion of Polymorph for decks that run Malagos and Macathune? It's been rotated out. Otherwise, yeah. Yes! I love playing Control Mage. I'm just gonna get some water, man. Oh, Shareberry is so sweet. Jaina versus Jaina. You asked for it. Oh, it is on.
Oh my god, did I leave the reality showing for so long? Reality. All realities, all dimensions are open to me. Have I played Eternal at all? I actually have not. Although, White Rabbit. Eric. Uh, was actually top 100. I think he temporarily stopped playing. Maybe he still plays some of them. Let's I think if we start running into Mechathun Druids... I might cut one potion of Polymorph or cut the Voodoo Doll. This, these two don't... I don't feel like I need both of them. Our low end seems pretty important. I was created by Primordial Glyph. Okay. This deck's been doing good recently. So let's just post my 15 month sub message right as you left. Happy birthday, or happy Thursday, Sean. But thank you for the good juju when I got engaged last summer with the Day 9 TV shirt on. Cheers. Ha <laughs> ha, hell yes. It is always the shirt. All shirts, all dimensions are open to me. What's it gonna be, Buttercup? That last game felt good, man. Last few games have felt good. What? Why? What? No. Alright, first things first. Are you an explosive rune? No. We're hitting this because now we've gone through a counter spell. So we can throw down our blizzard. I'm gonna throw down our blizzard! <laughs> Alright. Okay. Alright, you got me. You got me. I'll admit it. Sometimes you play against people who are better than you. Sometimes it just happens. I mean, this could be just... Infinite Fireball. I don't know. That's not a good one. I'm doing pretty bad with this Lich King. Let's replace it with Ysera. She's a tighter dragon. But why? Aha. Aha. I've discovered the play. Need to do this. I don't know what Buttercup's doing, man. But she has a whole bunch of one mana somethings. It's a mage, so I assume there's not that many creatures in there. That plus Aleneth is gonna be sick. What to do? What to do? Science overwhelming. We're gonna take some pain here. Do not fear power. Fear those 
Buttercup, she at rank five. She's like, all right, well, ranks the <laughs> nothing matters anymore. Time to just go all in. <laughs> 18 damage. Oh! All right, well, I think very clearly the correct thing to do is this. I bet you there's an Aleneth in this deck. I bet you she's like, you know what? Spell damage, galaxy, Antonitis, Aleneth, run it out. I wonder. I mean, that's a weird card to see. So it's becoming increasingly. We've cast one blizzard, one meteor. Fine. I mean, we 13 13 for nine, that's fine. I'm feeling very concerned that I'm up against some sort of weird OTK. Deck. Oh shit. Did we die? Is the game over? Oh my god, I think we I think we're dead. Unless we get the artificer. Oh my god. Alright, it's time it's biology time. All right, guys. It was nice knowing y'all. Well played. She did it. I don't actually. Is this just just run Malagos? Like One man of Malagos. The end is coming. Maybe I needed to keep digging. Oh. Oh. See, we biology projected because Baron Geddon or the Artificer is pretty dang helpful. Pretty dang helpful. I just did not know what was even going on, man. Jane. Research project, biology is true. I'm going to say it every single time. It's, it's a biology project now. They each have their respective biology projects. You asked for it. I guess if I get my artificers, we're okay. But I will use that game to defend my using of Arcanologist and Ice Barrier. Funky to me, so I don't want to do this yet because I don't really know what's up. <laughs> Nurse for cards. Could be ramp. Token. Could be getting their ass milled. I got the best deal anywhere. Oof. Is it good news? Is it bad news? We don't really know yet. Not a 
we wish to proceed. Play this down. I kind of want Velvet Devil to just get too many cards in hand and then we just burn everything. Draw. Alright, that's good enough for me. Alright. Attempts will be made now. Alright. Damn it! Oh my god. Why don't we lose? I was tempted to coin at the end of the turn against Naturalize. Nothing matters anymore. I'm conceding. Rats. I think a skulking geist is actually warranted. Controller. I just think I don't need the voodoo doll. I just think I don't. I think there's just not enough huge dudes in the in the, in the meta right now. I think the Skulking Geist is going to serve us well. BK7690 says, Mechthune is too easy to activate. Fight me. You know, there's this, there's this design thing that happens a lot, which is where you create a really sick, powerful play, and people go, Oh my god! That's ridiculous. That needs to be nerfed. And this get, it's kind of quashed Gina back down. When Valera. a completely acceptable oh, thing is, hey, we, we should actually kind of ramp this up. We should increase the amount of overall power. So that way, you know, I would love if Mechathune de decks existed and there were really powerful tools to deal with that. Domino says, I'm not sure how he outright lost there. He has five cards left in his deck. We need at least ten turns. <laughs> In order to actually get a lot of uh, impact. And uh, he kills us in about three. Vicious Fox says, yeah, he could have won. He burned the Wrath and his Pyro and one Naturalize. Oh, wait. No, no, no. He... Wait, was he out of Naturalizes? Am I crazy? I didn't think we burned a Naturalize. Did we burn a Naturalize? He used a naturalize on my guy. After he naturalized, my brain goes, he uses a naturalize. That means he has a naturalize for his Mechathune. Otherwise, he wouldn't waste it. I would have lost my shit if I burned a naturalize. I thought it was Malfurion, two Pyromancers, and a Wrath. And one other one. I wonder. So yeah. But yeah, I mean like I love when there's some crazy insane win condition, and then there's like a back and forth around it. I think the thing that is struggleful for our good friend Hearthstone. I would like that extra armor now, please. I think the thing that's struggleful for Hearthstone is because there's no back and forth type counterplay, that's really rough. You 
kind of have to create things that are multi-turned. It's going to be a very, very powerful card in this matchup. I really don't know if we can even do anything about that. This is the anti-synergy, huh? Whew, we dodged it. His deck has absolutely no one mana cards. This is really rough. Particularly rough situation. Nice! <laughs> I need to be accepting more, less single target things, more go wide things. I saw the pogo hopper and I was like, ah, I know what I need to do. Oh, good lord. That's, that's good. Kind of good. It's kind of good. Not taking as much pain. Not taking as much pain. God, if we could get another blizzard. I think that maybe actually this is the best play. Hanging on to this fella. Because I feel like he's going to just try to, like, draw cards here. Yeah, Blizzard will freeze these guys even though they have Divine Shields, because it's deal 2 damage and freeze them. Okay, so we don't actually... An incredible discovery. A lot of spiders! So glad I'm running these artificers. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, that's good. And for nine, Valera. And depending on what goes down, maybe we don't even need to. Actually, we're a little low. We are a little low. Holy shit. Holy shit. The end is coming! Job's done. Damn it. Damn it! I think I need to use restroom after this, man. I've just been sitting here playing Hearthstone for like three hours and 45 minutes. No, I guess three hours and 15. I went live a little late today. Whew, that's a good draw.
This is actually the most useful one, huh? Boom! And it dissolves! What? No, it's zero mana! No, come on, man! Ah! What? Zero mana! That, like, startled me! Ah! Stupid Geist. This damn game, God. There once was a man from It's got an awful lot of spooters in there. I don't really want to flame strike yet. Okay. All right. Yep. Keep the spooters coming. So what I need to do is I need to like Doomsayer Frost Nova clear the board and then play a Dragon Caller or Frost Nova Doomsayer. Something. Something. My deck tracker break. Brotherhood shall prevail. The Brotherhood shall prevail. I want you, and you, and you. Sorry about that. Looks like it has frozen, and I have fixed it. Bang, 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 bang. So I need to. What is this about? That is okay. The Brotherhood shall come The Brotherhood shall come Oh shit. Better to save the Frost Novas, they're more flexible later on. Something like Flame Strike Frost Nova, stuff like that. Please be able to do nothing, please. And then just Frostless Jaina right off the top. That's actually okay. The end is coming. This has got a lot of Van Cleefs in that deck. I said we want to keep the Frost Nova instead of the Blizzard because it's more flexible. There you have it.
God, he's gonna get two huge Van Cleefs again. Sheet. Hopefully he just does nothing, man. But it's gotta be just Van Cleef, Van Cleef, right? It has to be. There's no way he has not drawn at least one of those Van Cleefs. Mm. Got a Meteor. Got a Frost Lich Jane. I just, I just need to, like, clear the damn board. And then, like, have him try to start rebuilding, and then I play Frost Lich Jaina. God, he is digging hard for a Van Cleef. It looks like he got it. The Brotherhood Shell Cafe. The Brotherhood Shell Cafe. Nice play by him. 8, 9, 10. Fuck. 8, 12, 16. Guys, we lost. Well played. Ah, that was close. That was close. Alright, I'm gonna use the restroom, everyone. You can't stop me. Duration how long? It's gonna be it's gonna be some time. It's gonna be some time.